What the most wonderful time. Yes, this is Halloween everywhere. It's Halloween. 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 Oh, folks. It's me. It's me. It's the one, the only Techno Blue Ranger. Because you know what time it is. Time to Halloween. And if it's Halloween, it's time to party. So hit my music. And it's also time to talk a little bit about pro wrestling. In fact, because it's Halloween, I'm the special guest here. To talk a little bit about Crown Jewel. But unfortunately, Hobo Tom is out doing his hoboing. And he actually has to work too tomorrow. So there's going to be no live stream. In fact, I think he only has a f about one, less than a month left. That's pretty good. So you can live stream. He did leave me some notes. He said, I might review this tomorrow if I feel like it. And we'll see what happens. So we'll see what happens. So let's start off. Let's hear, oh, dude's a little excited today. So this is unique. This is Crown Jewel. This is taking place in Saudi Arabia tomorrow, I think, at 1 p.m. That's a weird time. Doesn't make much sense, but whatever. Um, I have no idea what match this, what match order this is in. So we'll have to go by. He has to stop writing on blue paper. It's way too hard to see. Through, of course, my blue vision. But let me take a good guess. So it's Mansoor versus Cesaro. You know what? Mansoor is going to win. He is the hometown favorite. This is also going to be my stone cold lock. And there's some tag team turmoil. So I have no idea what that means. I think it's just like a big long gauntlet match for tag teams. I think something interesting is going to happen. Heavy Machinery somehow will win. I don't know how. I think the Viking Raiders are going to get themselves eliminated somehow with some other, by tangling with some other team or interfering. So also it's going to be and Heavy Machinery wins that. Then we're going to have a 20-man Battle Royal. That's weird. It's not going to be the largest Battle Royal. But, hey, it's a Battle Royal, so they're always fun. Out of everyone, oh, there's a Hobo Kenny just meandered on by. Indeed. But I say, in a 20-man Battle Royal, taking a look at, I think, at who the participants are. Andrade Cien Armas is going to win. Because this match actually has implications. And this is probably going to be the match of the night. Because whoever wins this 20-man battle royal is to take on the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Or the US Championship. And it would make sense that the leader of Bullet Club takes on... I want to say it's the founder and a leader of Los Ingobernales de Japón. In fact, I wonder if these two face each other in New Japan. But AJ Styles versus Andrade Cien Almas. I'm, even if it doesn't matter, I'm taking AJ Styles against the field. Based on that, though, on the other prediction, this is going to be the match of the night. And then there's a surprise. They're going to have women wrestling here. I wonder if this will really happen, though, because it's going to be Lacey Evans versus Natalia. Not again. Oh, man. Even the even I'm bored of this matchup. Why can't they just get along? Um, 
Um, but Ty is going to win again. And this is going to be a match to sleep through. So Natalia wins. Go take your cat nap. And then we'll have Team Hogan versus Team Flair. And he cannot write all the participants down. I don't think this is an... I forget if this is an elimination style, like Survivor Series match. I think, though, Team Hogan's going to win. And as a bonus, Hogan drops the leg on Ric Flair. That is my bonus. So again, Team Hogan wins. Um, some of the overcome the dastardliness of Ric Flair. Hulk Hogan himself gets involved, drops the big leg on Ric Flair. Hogan wins. Then we have Braun Strowman versus Tyson Fury. WWE is setting up Braun Strowman to be the celebrity wrestler, uh, which means he actually wrestles the celebrities. They come into WWE for their short stint. I think Tyson Fury wins. Braun can eat a loss. Tyson, this will be Tyson Fury's one win. He'll feel happy, and that'll be it. Then we have Brock Lesnar versus Kane Blasquez. Brock Lesnar is going to get his win back from the UFC. I just can't see them changing any titles here. In fact, I don't think I have one title being changed. Whoa. I know the winner of the Tag Team Turmoil match. Like a trophy in there. The best tag team in the world! But yeah, no titles are going to change. So Brock is definitely not losing his title to Kane Blasquez. Not yet, although Kane might come out in that Luchador mask. He seems to wrestle better in that Luchador mask. Yeah, and I wrestled better with my helmet on, too. So, but I still think Brock Lesnar is going to win. That'll be a fun match. They could almost make that a shoot match, too. Ooh. They could make that a shoot match. Hear that, WWE? Send one dollar bill to the Techno Blue Ranger if you just say, this is this whole thing to shoot. That's all I want credit for. And no more copyright violations. Then, in the main event, we have Seth Rollins versus The Fiend, and a false count anywhere there will be. A oh. we, are, we, already, we already did this. Um, there aren't separate bands. This is what the Saudis want to see. This is what the Saudis paid for. Therefore, this is what the Saudis are going to get. I don't know. For some reason, <sighs> that belt could change. No, because Bray's on SmackDown. You still have Brock there. Seth somehow keeps his title. Best I can say, best I can do. Again, probably Thursday night, Friday ish. I'll try and talk Hobo Tom into doing a review. If not, well, if it's, thir if it's Thursday. This guy doing the recap and review. I could do that. Because it's Halloween. It's time to get your trick or treat on, folks. So oh, I might be able to do that too. Ooh, I didn't think of that. I could be a more featured guest instead of that uppity Dr. Tom. You could have someone fun to watch. Again, who doesn't like a good party with the Techno Blue Ranger? Oh, that's it. That's this guy's predictions for Crown Jewel. Everyone have a safe time trick or treating out there. Remember, folks, if you are going to drink adult beverages, stay home, tranquilo, invite people over. If they're going to drink, make sure they can get home safely. Other than that, everyone else have a good, fun, happy Halloween. And stay tuned because soon. I know Hobo Tom's going to be working on some videos. 
show you, and you're going to see this guy wrestling in the Havoc of Halloween special for the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League Wrestling. I'll see everyone maybe later. Bye.